Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I let you know that Microsoft had officially confirmed that Windows 10 users in the EEA, the European Economic Area, will have access to the Extended Security Updates program for free. That's the ESU program, as we have been talking about on the channel. And that's with the upcoming end of support of Windows 10 next month, according to Microsoft on the 14th of October. Now, the decision, as mentioned in the video, which will be linked if you'd like some more information, this decision came after pressure by users and Euro Consumers Group. Now, after the announcement, Microsoft now has given and outlined requirements for the free ESU in Europe. And in true Microsoft fashion, it seems that Microsoft has moved the goalposts a little bit regarding that original announcement. Now, while Microsoft has dropped the earlier requirements to sync your PC settings to the cloud as one of the options to get the ESU, the new requirement asks users to sign in with a Microsoft account once every 60 days and this was in an announcement to bleeping computer by microsoft and if you don't do that your pc will be unenrolled from the esu until you log in again so microsoft has moved the goalposts slightly and i was always under the impression that you didn't need to sign in with a microsoft account regarding the announcement in the eea but it doesn't seem so now, Microsoft had this to say to Bleeping Computer, and I'm quoting, Sign into your PC with a Microsoft account, MSA, and stay signed in to receive ESU updates at no additional cost. If your MSA is not used to sign in for a period of up to 60 days, ESU updates will be discontinued and you'll need to re-enroll by signing in using the same Microsoft account. So there is a little bit of a catch to this. Now, it's also noting that this is just not an isolated announcement. Because if we head to one of Microsoft's support websites, this was um, spotted by Windows Central regarding the same issue, regarding consumer extended security updates. And we scroll down to this section. It says, the Microsoft account used to sign into the ESU enrollment tool will enable extended security updates on the device until 13 October 2026, provided you continue to sign into Windows with a Microsoft account used for enrollment. It says, if you do not continue to sign into your PC with your Microsoft account, ESU updates will stop for your device after a period of time up to 60 days. It's mentioned that if ESU updates were interrupted because you were unable to sign into your Microsoft account, you will need to sign in again to resume updates. So if you want to use the ESU, the long and the short of this, is you will need to be signed in with your Microsoft account if you do find yourself in the European economic area. And Microsoft does say this, that users with a local account who do not wish to remain signed into the eligible PC with a Microsoft account will have to make a one-time purchase of 30 US dollars, as we have been talking about for that extra year of support. And obviously, if you're outside the EEA, like I am, Basically, nothing changes. The ESU program will cost $30, as mentioned, per device for a year or 1,000 Microsoft Rewards points, or you'll need to enable CloudSync, like I did, tied to a Microsoft account to stay covered. And I'll also leave the video I posted on how I enrolled using that method, which has helped quite a few folks out. I'll also leave that video linked. So basically, if you find yourself in Europe, the good news is, is that re-enrolling isn't permanent because because if your PC drops out of the ESU, signing in with the same Microsoft account restores access. So you can unlink again afterward if you don't want to stay signed in with a Microsoft account for another 60 days of coverage. And then obviously after that, you'd have to sign in again, get access to the ESU, and then you can sign out again. So a bit of a backwards and forwards process. Microsoft has slightly moved the goalposts but nonetheless, just keeping you posted like we like to do on the channel. Let me know what your thoughts are about this down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.